Hey everyone, and welcome to Groove Builders, the show where we create together. I'm your host, Disorderly Cone, and in this episode, we're going to be building our very first 5D crystal painting. Now, this was a recommended build by one of our viewers out there, and I was able to find a very cool 5D painting for us to build. Groovers, let's get down to the workbench and find out what comes in this package. All right, Groove Builders, welcome to the workbench. Now, for our first 3D diamond painting, there's actually quite a lot of stuff that comes with it, so I had to open it up and bring everything out. But this is basically what comes in your package. Yep, a lot of these things called resins, which uh, there's so many here, I'm not even gonna bother with how many are actually here. Then you get the actual, uh, I guess this would be the canvas. Now, this is kind of interesting because it's not your typical canvas. On here is a very sticky uh, 3M material that's uh, very similar to like a sticker. And what you're gonna do is if you peel this back a little bit here, let me see if I can peel it back just a little. Kinda hard to do with gloves. I know what, I, there we go. Now if you look very closely here, you'll see a little grid. Now that grid tells us what color pieces need to go there, and that's the color pieces right here in the resins. All right, that looks pretty neat. All right, Groovers, I'm gonna go ahead and unpackage everything so we can see it a little bit clearer. All right, Groovers, I've taken some of our stuff out here to kind of explain what we're gonna be doing. So these right here on our left, these are our different resins. Now, these are not gonna be used right now, there's some examples. Over here on my right, I have a little green tray with some resins already taken out of their package. These are gonna be used right away, so I'm gonna keep these inside. Now, if we ever wanna get these to come up, we can just shake them like this, and that will actually bring them to the top. That's a very useful thing, and I'll show you guys why a little bit later. Now, this little red stuff right here, this is a wax. This wax we use in correlation with this little pen here, and we kind of push the two together like this, and that allows us to be able to pick up the resins out of the green tray. Now, if you don't want to use this, you don't have to. You can always use the tweezers that are also included inside this package. So, Groovers, with all that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started on our first couple of pieces, starting with our first white piece of resin right here. There we go. Just like that, we picked up our first piece. We pull back our little bit of paper here. There we go. And we just try to line it up really good inside the grid here. Just like that. And our first pieces have been placed. All right, we got a long way to go, but let's get building.
Hey everyone, and welcome back! We made our first 5D crystal painting, and I had a lot of fun building this little stitch. Let's talk about it a little bit more in construction. My first point when it comes to building the 5D crystal paintings is making sure that you have a good organization system ready to go before you start. There's all different kinds of colors of resins involved with these particular paintings, and you're going to need to organize them by their color and number. Groovers, nothing is worse than trying to figure out what crystal goes with what package by matching it up to the bag. It takes a lot of time, and these paintings already take enough time as it is. So a good organization system will make this painting a lot easier for you. My second point when it comes to building these 5D crystal paintings is ensuring that if you're picking a very detailed image that you get a big canvas size because all the detail will not be represented in a similar size to my friend's stitch here just because they can't put that many crystals in a small little area like this. The image that you choose if it's very detailed in a size like this will be very pixelated and barely noticeable to what it's supposed to be. So Groovers, make sure that if you are picking a detailed image to get a nice big canvas so that all the detail can be represented. My third and final point when it comes to building these 5D crystal paintings is making sure that you take the proper amount of time to build it. Groovers, there's a lot here to do, and because of that, you might find yourself rushing through or trying to rush through, and if you do that, you will get frustrated. Understand that this is a big project, and it will take time for you to be able to complete it. At the very end though, you really do have a nice product. With that being said, Groove Builders, let's move on to build time. This 5D crystal painting of Stitch took me just over 13 hours to build. Now, Groovers, there were things I definitely could have done to reduce that time, so I think that other people out there will definitely be able to complete similar paintings to this in a lot faster time. But Groovers, understand that you really do want to take the time to be able to build this correctly, as you don't want to put the wrong crystals in the wrong spot, because at the end of the day, your detail will be completely off. And finally, Groove Builders, my thoughts. These 5D crystal paintings are pretty awesome, especially at the end. You really do have a really cool effect. And Groovers, the amount of pictures out there is unreal. You know, Groovers, I'm really happy that one of my viewers reached out to tell me to check these out. They told me that they had a family member out there that had suffered through some brain cancer and they lost some motion in their right hand. And they found that these particular paintings really helped them get that dexterity back. And I can definitely understand why. I mean, we're talking over 10,000 repeat motions and you really do have to be accurate to get those little resins in their little spots. So if you're out there and you're looking for something that might help you there, I definitely recommend these 5D crystal paintings. Groovers, that brings us to the end of our show. I had a really good time building our Stitch 5D crystal painting with you. And if you guys had a good time, don't forget to press that like button. For more videos like this, hit subscribe as well. We've got all kinds of really cool content coming out in the future. Now, Groovers, this is not my last 5D crystal painting, and I'm definitely going to look something probably in the Assassin's Creed variety or Mass Effect variety next time around. Until next time, Groove Builders, keep building. All right, now to figure out a frame. Hmm.